if you're watching this, you probably already have seen the video where a mesh grill is installed and a G87M2 without the front radar system. This is the problem to make the standard mesh from radi Radiator Grill Store. Thank you guys. Fit. And it's not just this piece. That piece is a cover. There's actually some parts behind that stick out and the troublesome part is that cable that comes down. So in order to make it fit, I thought it was going to be just a couple small cuts at the top of the grill mesh, but it turns out you have to cut out a pretty big section, as you can see here. And in order to test fit, I went ahead and taped off the entire mesh just to make sure I didn't scratch anything up. But I'm realizing that once I get it installed, those are, that tape's going to be hard to pull off. So I also went ahead and taped the bottom of the right and the top of the right so that I don't scratch it up when I push it in on that side. So now I'm going to try to put this on my tripod and begin a little work here. I am not a professional videographer and this tripod is broken so bear with me. Give that a try. And I didn't show you the tools I used, but I'll show those to you now. Uh, I used a pair of scissors for cutting the mesh. It's actually really easy to cut. It's like cutting pieces of a model out of the plastic. I use the, I'll use these to fit the guard, obviously tape, painter's tape, and then the zip ties came with it from the radiator grill store. Uh, and I also wiped off my radiator with a uh, microfiber towel. And I have a flashlight just in case I needed to see in there. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Sharpie marker. And actually, because I had the grill mesh guard taped around the edge, I was able to use this on the pieces of tape to mark off where I needed to cut. But since I've already done that for you, you shouldn't need to do that yourself. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this tape off since I've added the tape to the paint of the car. Alright. And this is the tricky part because you've got a little more back here. Than you have if you watch that other video because of the radar system. Alright. Now when I was test fitting, I took these and I would grab here, pull it up, take the marker and mark off back in here where it needed to be cut. But now I think we've got plenty of clearance. The cool thing is that if you've seen the other video, you see they zip tie to this these pieces. The radar actually has the same piece again behind that that I'm going to try zip tying to so that we'll never see the zip ties, which to me that's a huge benefit. So now it's time to go ask for help and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Now I've got that through there. Actually, this is going to stay if I tighten it. You pull it your way just a little bit, please. There you go. Okay. Well, let's try tightening that and seeing how she goes. Problem is, 
it's, uh, there's nothing to hold it on the vertical axis because of this framework here with the uh, maybe if it's tight enough it'll stay we'll try that I have to figure out another place to put one of these zip ties to kind of hold it more vertically okay well I'll let that sit there for a minute and try to do the side you're holding and I'm gonna twist and twist bring the light over get through Try to catch it on the other side. It's actually easier than it looks once you got somebody else holding it for you. We have a third helper out here with us tonight. Today. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so obviously these will be cut, but see this must still wants to slide up and down a little bit. Um but maybe we can fix that with, because there, there's some, there's a horizontal piece back here that's attached to this. I bet I can get one around that too after I put a couple more in the bottom. So. Let's see, you want to turn into the flashlight holder now, please? Yes. Okay. All right. Right back in there. Mm -hmm. No, I see right, right there. Yep, it's not wanting to come back to me. Alright. I'm sure somebody's done this a hundred times, probably has an easy way to do it, but this is my third time exactly. So. Car dummy. There we go. All right. I'm going to try to do the same thing right here. Look, you're doing a good job helping, buddy. Thank you. Light would be awesome. And, oops. There's nothing to connect to, unfortunately. There's nothing. You've got to connect the middle. 
Yeah, you can only connect the middle. So we'll see how that goes. The wind, I mean, unless I'm going 100 miles an hour, the wind's not going to do anything to that. I guess you press the little cut through the tires shorter. Yeah. Um, we'll still slide up and down. Not bad, no, it's probably okay like that. I, I don't think I need anything on the horizontal piece. I'm not really. I know because I cut it, it made it a little, probably made it a little more flexible. Um, but we may just have to live with that and see see how it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to cut off these zip ties. Can I get your help to kind of hold the light uh, about right there? Slide these little squares around so you can't really see them as well. Not that anybody's going to be looking back there, but I will when I clean it. Cool. All right. Now we get the tape off of there tape off there and that's it Boy. and here's the final product as you can see it fits in there pretty good now and we'll see how the wind affects because I had to cut it it's a little it's a little flimsy on the sides and there's nothing on the side that you can zip tie to or connect to to stop that but yeah not bad not bad we'll see how, see how it goes I'm gonna try to show back in there. You can see where it's cut, and there's still some openings to the grill, but it, it would take a, a very lucky shot to get a rock back in there now. Um, and while this is still a little flimsy on the side, because I, I think because I had to cut it back in there some, um, at least if a big rock hits here and it breaks this piece, it's gonna break this and not put a hole in our radiator, so. Very nice, looks good.